What is going on guys? Double R here back again today with another video. If you guys are wondering why we're out here in stick country at the moment is because we just found an abandoned G35 that our friend told us about. This abandoned G35 isn't just any G35, okay? This G35 has some odd top mount supercharger kit on it. It has like a powder coated front timing cover and all this weird shit. So the supercharger kit is off either a Nissan Xterra or a Nissan Frontier and it's huge and it fits on the DE. It's just strapped up to a DE, it still has stock fuel rails. It seems like it has Skyline fuel injectors. I don't know who did this build, but it looks pretty cool. And we're taking it off today and I guess we're slapping it on Driftology's car. Damn, look at the intake, it goes from So I don't think that's all I need is just that. And then, <laughs> right? That, oh, ECU. Thank you. That's all it is. It's just like that's no. it. It's a blower, and that's it. That's about it. It spins. And yeah, I gotta see if I can if I can run that uh, pipe on my car. You can. Yeah, I know. I just I don't care about cutting shit on my car either. To make it work either. Good. I'm all for cutting up my Good. shit. I'm about to cut up my hood too. Good. Dustin, thank you. Yeah. All right, so we just got back to the shop after like a two-hour drive literally out in the middle of nowhere to go find this barn found Supercharger kit chase right now He's gonna go get a fuel pump to be able to run the supercharger kit because we took it off today And we're gonna slap it on today. That's kind of how shit works around the shop I think he's getting like a Walboro 225 just to make sure that the fuel pressure is high enough And that it's not gonna bog or run too lean if he gets high in the RPM So while he's doing that I decided to give you guys an update on the shop Shop real quick while we have some time you guys see the workspace is coming along together even though the toolbox isn't here I ordered this Milwaukee toolbox like three weeks ago if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys will see how much I've been complaining about this thing because now it's supposed to be here I believe the 12th and now it's like the 25th or something and they said wait five days to contact them back so that's where we're at. As far as the workshop table goes, we finally got everything painted. We got all the sticker bombs on the wall. If you guys have a company or any sort of brand or YouTube channel that you guys have a decal for and you want to see in my videos, go ahead. I'll put a link in the description to where you can send them. Send me your decals so that way I could put them on my shop wall. Now we're just waiting for Chase to get that fuel pump back in. We'll push this thing off the lift and out to the parking lot. We'll bring his Z in here. I don't think his Z has ever seen the time of day on a lift. So we're finally gonna see what it looks like underneath his drift car, which should be interesting. And then hopefully, hopefully, we can slap that blower on the top of his engine and just call it a day and see if it rips. Small, and this is factory, right? Yeah, it's a factory Nissan. That's pretty big. 
All right, so quick update. What we have done to Chase's car at the moment, we've mounted up the supercharger blower along with finding an actual bolt that fits. This short ram intake is scaring me a little bit. I do really think he's gonna have to cut the hood on, on this side. And I was really hoping just to leave the hood cut from here and within this area. I wasn't trying to go down this low. But now that I think about it, honestly, it would be kind of cool if we could have the supercharger sticking out up to here, hood, like another small hood vent cut out just just for the air intake vent so who knows we might just send it with the angle grinder and just figure out what looks best I think we're just gonna start off with cutting something for the blower first and then we'll figure out the air filter situation later he gave us some extra piping to be able to run it down through the radiator support and down into the front bumper but you can't really see it this looks a little cooler because everything's just kind of in your face and everyone loves a good cone filter now the only thing that I'm doing right now is trying to fidget this water pump pulley off what we didn't realize is when we were taking this whole entire car apart there was actually a smooth water pump pulley on that specific DE now we weren't sure whether or not there was a smooth water pump pulley on his car I have no idea why we didn't look it up but to be able to run the belt because you guys realize this supercharger just ran off the belt ran off this pulley obviously we're gonna need a belt tension enough to spin this and the issue is the way that the belt was wrapping up there was no way to get the ribs around this pulley and also around the water pump pulley without it either rubbing against this radiator hose or the block itself. It would only really make sense if the rear of the belt was to go underneath the water pump pulley so that way the water pump would almost act as a tensioner to the actual blower and that way it would bring the belt straight down instead of slanted and trying to rest on both of these. It just wouldn't work out. So he went all the way back two and a half hours back to that barn just to go pick up a smooth water pump pulley. Apparently it's some lightweight water pump pulley. We're gonna give him this one because he's apparently trying to get a DE into that car and he's gonna try and build that one. So we might as well just give him what we take off of this. Make his life a little easier since he kind of hooked us up with this thing. I've been fixing everything up here. I've connected all the fuel injectors, made sure the fuel rail's in, connected some vacuum hoses and fuel lines to make sure everything's basically ready for this to start. Really the only thing that I've left off to the side is this water pump pulley because that's the last thing that I wanted to do before he got back so now that we have everything taken off i'm just going to shimmy that off we should be able to put the smooth pulley back on ecu's already in so really once we get this belt on car should start <laughs> that cool down now here. and then we can bolt it back on here just pull some water on it i'm going to step back a few feet okay three two one it has no fuel let it prime Yeah, a little bit of black smoke. Oh. <laughs> 
You might, I mean, under a load, I don't even know if it'll go anywhere. It might, it might fall in the face. Yeah. You're out there and drive it. Oh, so like, you can't even go. So like, if I ease it, then you hear it. And yeah. he told me to keep it under four grand. You're just going to have to take the bumper off and call it on. Why under four grand? It, it gets into boost after four grand and it's, it's just not tuned yet. All he did was put the uh, upper so rev map on his ECU, but he just tuned it for idle. <laughs> and then he was just like, you have to bring it here after that. He was like, I just did an estimate with what you had. But their skyline either between 550 or what, 6, 660 or something like that? Skyline yeah. Don't worry about that. Break it. Hey. Yo, bro, you give me a f***ing grinder. I'm going to start grinding. I'll be back. Are we videos or even this one like that? Oh. Fuck yeah. I mean, of course, bro. You, I mean, of course. It should be, right? Yeah. It's got to be on video. This thing is ready, though. Alright, you're good. I got a handle on it. I thought you were going first. Like, see, you go first. Drift car is always, there's always custom shit. It's always fun. Okay, put those glasses on. Everyone, take three feet. I mean, shit. <laughs> that to make it look pretty. But if anything, if there's space, I can buy, like, that black rubber stuff that goes around the edge. That's what I have on mine. Yeah. You can always make something work. I can always do something like that yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Just so we don't want to go better. too far. Bring it down one time and let's check to make sure that I'm right, correct on my fucking market. Yeah, well, you know what? We'll do it. Yeah, yeah it's good? All right. <laughs> you're going to be putting hella pressure on this shit. Be well. Good luck. Be careful. Yep. For real. We're professionals. He said, you're going to be putting hella pressure on this yeah, thing. Don't worry, <laughs> We'll drop this. We'll, we'll drop this. Let me get the glasses. Thank you. I forget. <laughs> I for my brain doesn't work right away. We will shut this. We will just shut this. Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna get in the way. Success! Oh. That's successful. That's. Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones you should try to do all the things that all the things that I need a rose. I need a rose. Yeah, I need a rose. It's perfect. <laughs>